real tough, durable plant that loves the full sun, enjoys poor soils, even clay soils, is the tall bearded iris. And you know, you'll see it in front of many people's homes. Sometimes I'll even see it along the highway. But they come in a wide array of colors. Just look at the combination of the colors here. And the buds are kind of neat too. You know, some of the buds really have distinctive color tones, you know, between the white and the blue. Additionally, some of these tall bearded iris bloom again in the fall, and those are called reblooming iris. And on top of all of it, the fragrance is just fantastic. In addition, you can cut these and put them indoors, and these flowers smell fantastic. As you're driving along the interstates or highways, sometimes you'll see these beautiful poppies. In most cases, these are annual poppies or poppies which have been seeded. But the poppy right here in front of me is known as the perennial poppy or the oriental poppy. Once you get it established, it comes back year after year in the garden. And not only do they come in the orange form that you see here, but they come in a multitude of other colors, including pink. In warm climates, try to plant them in high shade or a little protection from the sun. Other than that, in cooler areas, they love full sun. Peonies will last in your garden for 50 to 100 years plus. It might be something you might remember from your grandmother's garden. They're easy to grow. To bloom the best, they really like full sun. And they'll do well in clay soil, so you know they don't mind heavy clay soils. You just might need to loosen it up a little bit. The other thing you're going to notice is there's some that bloom early right here, some are in bud, and some might bloom two or three weeks from now. Not only that, you're going to find they come in a whole array of colors that you see here. They also make excellent cut flowers, so if you want to bring a little bit of that outdoors in, grow peonies in your garden. An easy to grow shrub in a garden is viburnum, and there's lots of types of viburnum you can grow. This is viburnum shasta. Now this one's more of a mouthful, viburnum macrocephalum. But remember, you know, there's probably a hundred or more varieties of viburnums that really enjoy either full sun or bright shade. Now this one's not fragrant, but many viburnums are fragrant. And you can really use these in combination with your iris and your peonies and your poppies to add that zest to your garden. I'm Mark Viette. Join me next time in the garden. For more garden tips, click the In the Garden website, InTheGardenRadio.com.